What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and it's Wednesday, April 20th of 2022. It has been a long week so far. It is spring break for my kids, and if you guys are parents and you guys work from home, you know exactly what I've gone through this week. But that's okay, guys. We're here. We're ready, and I mean we because, you know, Frank is right here. He's sleeping on the bed, and I'm going to get rolling right now with this week's comic book spec regulation recommendations. All right, guys, this is the video where you look up into the future at Final Order Cutoff and New Comic Book Day of next week. Now, why do I do this? Well, the main reason why I do this is so that way you guys have enough time to put in your pre-orders for your Final Order Cutoff books, but also so that way you guys have enough time to reach out to your local LCS and tell them, hey, I was watching Bruce and Stephanie comics, comic books, speculation, or recommendations. I like what he had to say. I did my own research, and I would like to pick up a couple extra copies of these books so that way I can start and make this hobby fun itself. Now, with this being a speculation video, I need to remind you guys of two things. These are very important, so please open your ears and listen. The first thing that I need to remind you about is, guys, you need to do your own research. This is very important because I am a human, a human being, and I'm going to give you guys what I think is good speculation. But what you guys need to go do is go check out the comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself. Because remember, you using your own hard-earned money on these books, not my money, your money. I have one last final reminder for you guys, and that is a comic book's release date are subject to change. So that means a book will show up multiple times on Final Order Cutoff, and sometimes multiple times on new comic book day spec, because their release date got moved for one reason or another. So that is my last and final reminder. Let's go ahead and dive in to all the books that have speculation coming out on this week's Final Order Cutoff, which is April 24th for your DC and Scout books, and April 25th for your Marvel and all the other indie publishers. You guys know exactly how we kick off my final order cutoff spec list, and that is with our cover lover picks. So let's go right ahead and dive right in. All right, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, the idea behind these cover lover picks is that these books might do well on the secondary market based on the cover art alone. I have three picks for you guys from this week's final order cutoff, and the first one up is Catwoman number 43, the Jeff to call cover A. This is just gorgeous. I love this cover so much. I personally pre-ordered three copies of this cover because I think this cover is just so gorgeous and I think this book could do well based on the cover art alone. And the second book on my cover lover list is Catwoman number 43, the 1 in 25 Sozo Maka cover featuring Catwoman and Harley Quinn together. This is just gorgeous. Now I have a feeling this might not do as well as her first Catwoman cover. I think that was for 38. I'm not 100% sure. That might be 39. But I have a feeling this book will do well on the secondary market. And my last cover lover pick for this final order cutoff is Venom Lethal Protector number three, the Kyle Hotz variant. There's something special about this cover that I think Venom fans will really, really like. So those are my three cover lover picks for this upcoming final order cutoff. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like any of these picks? Are there any covers that I missed that you think I should have put on my cover lover section. Now it is time to go over all the books that have speculation coming out on this week's final order cutoff. I do this because there is not a definitive list on the internet that I can find that covers all the books that have speculation coming out on final order cutoff. That is why I go over every single book that has speculation and then at the end of the list, I give you guys my final order cutoff spec picks of the week. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into this list. And the first book up for the third week in a row on final order cutoff is Danger Street number one. This is a 12 issue crime drama named after characters first introduced in first issue special number six and featuring characters spotlighted throughout the 1975 first issue special series. These characters include Starman, Metamorpho, and Warlord who summoned Darkseid to challenge the new god in a battle in an effort to pledge for membership to the Justice League. Next up, Duo number one. This is the reintroduction of the milestone character Zombie under the name Duo. Next up, Flashpoint Beyond number three. This is the first appearance of Project Superman. Next up, Shadow War Zone number one. This is the origin of Angel Breaker, a villain with a connection to Ghostmaker. Next up, Hulk number seven, Banner War Part 3. This is the Thor Hulk crossover, so this is the third issue of that series. And this is also the debut of Iron Man Celestial Hulk Buster Armor. Presumably the modification of the Celestial Armor introduced in the King in Black event. Next up, Oblivion Song number 36 makes its return to Final Order Cutoff. This is the final issue and series finale of Oblivion Song. Next up, Punisher number 3. This is the origin of the Punisher's his first kill. 
Next up, Spider Gwen, Gwen Burst number three. This is the first appearance of an alternate reality Gwen Stacy operating as Captain America. Next up, Spider Man 2099 Exodus number two. This is the first full appearance of Loki 2099. This is also the possible first team appearance of the new Avengers of 2099, led by Moon Knight. Next up, Thunderbolts number one. This is the first appearance of Gustin Glory. First appearance of Ergo the Umbreaker and also the new Thunderbolts roster which features Hawkeye, Spectrum, American Chavez, Power Man, Persuasion, Gustin Glory, Ergo the Unbreakable. Next up, in the final book that has speculation coming out on this week's Final Order Cutoff is Venom Lethal Protector number three. And this is the debut of the new costume in Powers in the limited series that takes place in the early days of Venom. All right, guys, those were all the books that had speculation coming out on this week's Final Order Cutoff. Stay tuned and find out what my Final Order Cutoff spec picks of the week are. So from all those books, including my cover lever picks, I have two books that I think you guys might want to consider picking up extra copies of, or at least getting a single copy of. And the first book up is a book from our cover lever section, and that is Catwoman number 43, the 1 in 25 Sozo Maka cover. I just think this cover is so gorgeous that this is going to do really well on the secondary market. Sozo Maka is a very popular new artist. There's a lot of her books that are doing well on the secondary market. Also, this is just a gorgeous Catwoman cover. Catwoman covers always do well on the secondary market market when they look like this. So that is the reasoning behind why I think you guys should consider picking up Catwoman number 43, the 1 in 25 Sozo Maka cover. The second book that I think you guys might want to consider for speculation is Thunderbolt number 1. Now there's a couple things going for this book and the first thing is that there are two new first appearances in this book. Now these characters might not do much in the future but it's always good to have a spec book that has new characters. Now this also has a new team roster which has three characters that are currently in the MCU in Hawkeye, Spectrum, and American Chavez because we know American Chavez is coming in Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. We already have Spectrum and we already have Hawkeye, but I do think the MCU is going to get rid of Clint Barton and they're going to move forward with Kate Bishop. Now, can you guys imagine a team with three female leads, Kate Bishop, Spectrum, and American Chavez? How cool would that be? And then you got Power Man, Persuasion, Gusting Glory, and Ergo the Unbreaker. Now, this is a long shot. Yes, of course it is, but guys, this is speculation. You got to speculate on the future and these characters could be really big in the future. What if these characters do not make the Avengers team of the future? What if they go with a closer to uh, Young Avengers squad? And this is a backup TV show on Disney+. Plus. I could totally see that happening, especially if this book does really, really well in the market. But guys, those are my two speculation picks for this upcoming Final Order cutoff. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you guys think I'm absolutely crazy with these spec picks or you guys think that's actually a pretty good idea. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments. Now we're about to get into my new comic book day spec picks, but before we do, I gotta remind you guys, if you guys do not have the Key Collector app, you guys should probably download it and pay for the subscription, so that way you guys have access to the future key section. It is so handy when looking at new comic book day spec picks. And one little handy thing that the Key Collector app does is that they list out new comic book day spec for weeks in advance, so you can start planning what you wanna pick up for speculation weeks in advance, which is super, super handy. All right guys, let's go ahead and dive into my new comic Comic Book Day Spec Picks for this upcoming week, which is April 27th of 2022. Alright guys, we're diving into my cover lover picks for this upcoming new comic book day, so let's see what books that I have picked. There is one really big book that's coming out this week, and that is Amazing Spider-Man number one. They are relaunching this series, so you guys know Marvel have put out a ton of covers. Exclusive covers, non-exclusive covers, ratio variants, all kinds of covers that you guys can consider picking up for yourself. Now, I've gone ahead and picked out four covers that I think might do well on the secondary market based on the cover art alone. And we have three, that's right, three art germ covers to talk about. And the first art germ cover that we're going to talk about is the cover that you guys should be able to pick up at your local comic book shop and that features Mary Jane and Black Cat together. You get half and half of each character and it is absolutely gorgeous. And the next two art trim covers are the Mary Jane Virgin variant and the Catwoman Urgent variant that you could have only bought on artgermcollectibles.com, but guys, they are sold out. So you're gonna have to go to eBay or whatnot or somewhere else to pick up these covers, but they are gorgeous, in my opinion. Art Germ knocked these covers 
out of the park. And my last and final Amazing Spider-Man number one cover that I personally really like and I think might do well on the secondary market is the Rose Bash 1 in 500 variant cover. And the main reason why I think this book might do well on the secondary market is A, I personally really enjoy the artwork on this cover, but it's going to be rare. This is a 1 in 500 cover and that's what I personally think is going to be the appeal for some people is that this cover is going to be probably one of the more rare covers for Amazing Spider-Man number one. We have two covers left on this cover lover section for new column look day, and the next one up is Silk number four, the Ji Hung Lee variant cover. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've spoken about this cover before when it was on Final Order Carla. It is finally right around the corner and going to come out and we're gonna be able to pick this cover up. I ordered three copies of this cover because I just think it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous cover. And my last cover lover pick for this upcoming week is another Marvel book. We have six Marvel covers on this list and that is Star Wars Crimson Rain number four, the Raza cover, which is a connecting variant cover. There's five in total. So this is the fourth one in the set and this is just absolutely gorgeous. All these covers together are going to make one amazing spread on someone's wall or wherever they decide to put it. Even just flipping through a box, these are going to be five covers back to back that are just absolutely amazing. Raza is crushing the cover game right now. He really is. And this is just such a gorgeous cover. And that is the final cover lover pick for new column book day. Guys, if I missed a cover that you're really in love with, guys, let me know down in the comments below. But let's go over my two, that's right, two spec picks for this upcoming new column book day. Just like my final order cutoff list, we have two books. One is a cover lover pick and the other is just a regular book that has pretty good speculation. But let's go ahead and talk about my cover lover pick that made it down to this main spec section. And that is Silk number four. Wait, we already spoke about Silk. No, we did not talk about this one. This is the Ji Hung Lee virgin variant that you can get from Golden Apple Comics for $20. And it is just somehow just a little bit better than the trade dress version. It is just that little bit of sweetness that makes this cover that much more appealing. And that's why I think this book might do a little bit better on the secondary market. And if you guys can get Ji Hung Lee to sign this and then get it verified in that sweet, sweet yellow label from CGC, ooh, that would be really, really nice. All right, guys, we're gonna round out this new comic book day spec picks with Something is Killing the Children, number 22. And there are supposed to be three new characters introduced into this book. Now, one thing you need to consider when speculating with a book like this is that with the popularity of this book right now, this book is going to be heavily ordered. But what I think you guys can do is look for some of those variants or some of those ratio variants that might do really well on the secondary market if this book decides to pop once a TV series has been picked up by a Netflix or somewhere else and when these characters come to light you guys will have the more rare version of this book and not the cover a which is mass produced by the thousands tens of thousands you guys will have the more rare version which will do a little better on the secondary market but I would consider specking on something in skill in the children number 22 because I think this series is just too strong some kind of streaming service is going to pick this up and as long as they can get the right creative team behind it this is going to be a very popular TV show and people are going to want to get their first appearance and second appearance and all their other garbage and this is three first appearances of three new characters i have a feeling a show like this will want to have multiple seasons so they will want to introduce new characters and this has three three of them all right guys those are all my spec picks for this upcoming new comic day let's go ahead and wrap this video up I want to thank everyone who stuck around to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And guys, let me know what you're specking on this upcoming week. And if there's any books that I missed that you guys think I should have added into this video, guys, let me know down in the comments below. That way I can take a look at what you guys think and that can become a better speculator. I also want to put out a big thank you to all my channel members. If you guys would like to become a channel member, it's only $4.99 a month and it supports Stephanie and I making this channel bigger and better. And you also get entered into a monthly giveaway which is a mystery box worth at least $50. Once we get more channel members, that mystery box will get bigger and bigger. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. All right, guys, I will see you guys next week with my must-have pickups, column book speculation, and I'm also gonna have my previews videos. That's right, DC and Marvel put out their previews videos for July, so I will have those next week. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. If you guys are home with your kids for swing break, guys, only two more days, we can make it. Only two more days, and enjoy your new comic book day. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.